the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 299, Luke 7 to 8, The Amazing Centurion. Since the mind of the poor, tax collectors, and sinners who approached Jesus was like good soil, they heard the word of Jesus and kept bearing fruits. First point Luke recorded the faith of two centurions in both Luke's Gospel and Acts. The story of Jesus healing the centurion's servant is recorded in the full Gospels. Matthew recorded that Jesus praised the centurion for his big faith. But Luke recorded this instant in further detail. Luke wrote that this instant occurred with the help of the elders of Judea. Although this centurion worked for the Roman Empire, he was generous towards the Jews and moreover built them a synagogue. Therefore, when the Jews heard that the centurion's servant was ill, they wished to express their gratitude to the centurion by sincerely asking Jesus to heal him. As such, Luke studied into the historical background of this story and recorded this instant thoroughly. We do not know the name of this centurion, but Jesus said that he had the biggest faith. He would have been like Cornelius, who appears in Acts. Luke recorded both the book of Luke and Acts, and they were both written for Theophilus. Luke would have wished for Theophilus, along with the two centurions, to witness the gospel throughout the Roman Empire as well as to the foreign nations. Second point, Jesus had pity on the widow who lost her son and so raised him from the dead. The story of Jesus saving the widow's son is only recorded in Luke's Gospel. The reason Jesus saved him was because he pitied the widow. After saving her son, Jesus then saved a man's daughter. Jesus also saved Lazarus from death. Luke recorded that Jesus saved the widow's son as well as the instance of the disciples of John the Baptist confirming that Jesus was the Messiah. Luke also recorded how Jesus praised John the Baptist to his disciples. Third point, Jesus used a parable to change the mind of Simon the Pharisee. One day, Jesus was invited to a Pharisee's house for a meal. Here, a woman poured a luxurious perfume over Jesus' head. When the Pharisee who had invited him saw this, he said to himself, If this man were a prophet, he would know who is touching him and what kind of woman she is, that she is a sinner. Although this Pharisee perceived Jesus to be a prophet, when he saw that Jesus was with the woman, he treated Jesus also like a sinner. Jesus knew exactly what he was thinking, and then taught him through a parable. Jesus taught him that everyone was a sinner. At the time, it was customary for the host to wash the feet of his guests, kiss him and pour perfume over their heads. The Pharisee who had invited Jesus clearly was not well-mannered. A woman who was not even invited showed more manner and respect. Jesus compared the Pharisee to the woman, whereas the Pharisee did not even wash Jesus' feet, the woman washed Jesus' feet with her tears and wiped it with her hair. The Pharisee did not kiss Jesus, but the woman kissed his feet. The Pharisee did not pour perfume over his head, but the woman poured it all over Jesus' head. Jesus said this and forgave the woman's sins. Fourth point, Luke recorded that those who followed Jesus did so 
after selling their property in order for service. During his public life, Jesus was extremely busy as he dedicated himself to his five-type ministry of feeding, healing, teaching, forgiving, and praying. All of Jesus' disciples were with him during this time, and there were also women who followed. Luke recorded the acts of Jesus' disciples. Luke also recorded the women who helped and followed Jesus. Jesus healed the demon-possessed as well as the sick. Thus, the women wanted to help Jesus' ministry, and therefore sold their property in order to financially help. These women were with Jesus until the end when Jesus suffered on the cross and eventually became the witnesses of resurrection. Fifth point, Jesus taught that anyone who listened and acted after hearing God's laws became family in God's kingdom. But the seed on good soil stands for those with a noble and good heart who hear the word, retain it, and by persevering, produce a crop. The Jews waited for the Messiah to come for a long time. Thus, it was absolutely normal that Jesus was welcomed with open arms. However, when the Jews saw Jesus, they did not welcome him, and they did not want to go near him. Therefore, Jesus went around with the poor, the women, the tax collectors, and the sinners whom no one wanted to have in their community. However, these people were able to produce good fruits by listening to Jesus. Jesus taught them about the blessings in the kingdom of God. Jesus used all sorts of parables to help them understand. Jesus explained that there were, of course, those people who would not listen. Jesus continued to explain about the family within the kingdom of God. They were those who listened to God's words and acted on it. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading. This is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person he created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.